Praise the Lord. I would like to say that I am blessed to be a part of this end time generation. And um, I bless the Lord for the mighty things that He is doing all over the world and the mighty things to come. I'm coming to you brothers and sisters with two dreams but before I give the dream the uh, the dreams I would like to ask whoever is listening to me to please pray that the Lord will give you spiritual eyes and spiritual ears to understand the dreams and confirmations that I'm about to uh, to share right now and also I would like to uh, say I would like to make it known that the Lord um, gave me charged to translate um, his messages that he gives to his servant Mark Chain on Facebook. Uh, first, I used to translate from Gwendolaine, and the people who know the story will know why I'm now translating the messages of Mark Chain because these two work together. Gwendolaine Ricks and Mark Chain work together, so now I'm translating the messages um, from the Lord given to his servant Mark Chain. And each time I translate a message, I ask for confirmation or I ask the Lord that, Lord, if this message is from you, please lead me with your Holy Spirit to be able to translate it. Anyway, um, on June 26, 2015, um, the night or the day that uh, same-sex marriage was legalized here in the United States. That night, I believe it was on the 27th, I had a dream. And in a dream, I was standing with a brother in Christ and his wife. And we were watching a group of people. And they seem to be mentally challenged. And they seem to look like zombies, not physically, but they were acting as if they didn't know what they were doing. So when I woke up, I, I understood that the dream was about the legalization of the dream, I mean of the same-sex marriage and how uh, the devil is using people's mind now to make them do whatever he wants them to do so they don't know what they are doing basically so soon later the I believe that was days later that I had um, another dream and in the dream I was with a sister in Christ and I gave her a drainer, the drainer that you use in a kitchen. And we were in a place like a swamp and we were fishing for long fish. Long fish are similar to catfish, but the difference is that catfish are in the lakes and rivers, but long fish are in the swamp. They live in the mud and sometimes they come up to breathe some air and then they go back in the mud and in the same dream I also saw myself with a group of children and these children looked depressed like sad and I was asking them what's wrong so I didn't understand the dream when I woke up it wasn't until after July 1st when I received the first message 
as I was the first message uh, from the Lord to Mark Chain, as I was reading it, I didn't understand the dream, seriously. So I went to prayer. The dream, I mean the message, I'm sorry, was talking about how the children will be, the children that are under the age of accountability will be raptured first before the three days of darkness. For the people who are familiar with the three days of darkness, that's when um, the son of perdition will be revealed and right after the three days of darkness, there will be a great harvest of soul. So I didn't understand the message, uh, the, the message that the Lord was giving me, I mean was giving us, and I was afraid to translate it. So I didn't translate it. A few days later, in July 7, I mean July 4th, the Lord gave a second message. You can go right now to Facebook under Mark Shane. He's from Singapore and you will see the last two messages of the Lord. And you can read it. So he was explaining, he was confirming the previous message. And as I was reading, as I was reading it, I felt so excited. I was so happy because he was explaining and I realized that my family that I'm praying for at this time, they have the possibility to also be raptured. I was so excited. I was so overjoyed. I was praising the Lord because imagine if your child is raptured, you're underage, under, I mean not underage, your, your child that hasn't reached the age of accountability. Imagine if he or she get raptured and you know you don't know the Lord and someone come and tell you that all you have to do is accept Christ as Lord and Savior and you will be reconciliated with your child in heaven. Imagine how many people will come to Christ. Millions will come to Christ. So I was very excited about that. And that's when the dream came to my mind, the second dream I had. That's when the dream came to my mind because as I was reading that message, I said, wow, this will be as if we are fishing for fish. Then I realized that, yes, that's the confirmation of the dream. So the as, as in a dream, as I gave my friend a drainer and we start fishing, the fish represent the people that we will go out for to evangelize, to, 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 to preach the word of God, to proclaim the coming of Christ. And these people, that dirty water represent the sin. So these people will be living in sin. They will be unbelievers, lukewarm, backsliders, and they will be coming to Christ. So the drainer represents salvation. And I was so excited. I was so excited. And in the same dream, the children that I, that, that I found myself with in a dream are the children that um, I believe have reached the age of accountability, but um, we're living in sin. So we will also be able to bring the word of God to them. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, um, that's why I'm so blessed, brothers and sisters. We are blessed to be a part of this end time army. This end time, as the, as, uh, 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 this is the latter rain, brothers and sisters. So now, I've always heard how the devil is hurrying you know he is hurrying to 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 bring more souls to hell now i understand now even better 
because the devil knows that his time is very short so therefore he is trying his 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 utmost to to kill people prematurely sending their souls to hell and also he is killing them to send their souls to hell he is um, hardening the heart of people and he is searing their conscience why is he killing people prematurely he is killing them prematurely say so they will not so they will not have the chains you know during the great harvest of soul to repent of their sin to give their lives to Christ they will be dead and in hell why is he hardening the heart of people he is hardening the heart of people so that when the great harvest of soul comes they will still renounce Christ they, they will say no I don't care what you tell me I will I don't know your God you know and he is searing their conscience so therefore they are now like zombies walking around not knowing what they do what they are who they are and I think we should pray for these people so in this end time I believe the devil is killing more souls to bring them to hell he is hardening the heart of people and he is searing their conscience. That was the first dream. And that's what I wanted to share. Please take these two dreams. And every messages that you hear. Pretending to come from the Lord. And pray about it. <laughs>